Hello there, and welcome to another lesson on similes. As we learned in our first video on similes, the simile is a classic storytelling device used as an aid in describing things. One of the problems Morton and I come across, however, is writers using similes that aren't always well suited or appropriate to the situation being described. Let's have a look at the following example. My chicken soup was as hot as the sun. Here, we can see that the writer was trying their best to express the condition of the soup as vividly as possible. The soup was extremely hot, and so was the sun. But is this simile as appropriate as it could be? Let's consider the simile more closely. A pot of soup can be up to 100 degrees Celsius. Ouch. However, the sun is over 10 million degrees Celsius, considerably hotter than even the hottest chicken soup. The result of this extreme difference in properties can make a simile seem awkward, or worse, even a little ridiculous. Now let's consider another example that I've come across in my pupil's writing. The mosquito buzzed in my ear like a helicopter. Here, we have two objects that do indeed fly, and that make a kind of buzzing or whirring sound. But a mosquito is so small that it can often not be seen. This can be quite frustrating. A helicopter, however, is so much larger than a mosquito that the comparison is again just a little bit over the top. How might we improve this simile? How might we make it more appropriate to the situation? How about the mosquito buzzed in my ear like a miniature helicopter. By adding the adjective miniature, the writer is able to keep the general comparison while making the simile seem more realistic or appropriate. Let's have a look at two more quick examples and see whether you can judge for yourself whether each simile is appropriate or not. The man was as tall as a skyscraper. Is this simile as fitting as it could be? Not really. Again, the comparison is too extreme and unrealistic. How about this one? The diamond twinkled like a star. This simile seems much better. Both objects twinkle attractively with light, and although stars are in reality extremely large, they appear small, precious, and beautiful against the dark night sky. In this lesson, We've learned that comparisons that are too extreme can often make a simile seem awkward or inappropriate. And we've learned that we can improve our use of similes by aiming to create comparisons that are more realistic or well suited to the situation. So, that's it for this lesson. Keep concentrating on the appropriateness of your similes, and you'll soon find that your writing is more sophisticated and mature. See you soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our channels for more helpful English tips and advice.